Hello, my name is MK Dasher and I'm currently ranked first in Mario Kart DS Time Trials. I have been doing Mario Kart videos since 2008. Back then my videos didn't have a really good quality and I had to record the DS screen with a camera to prove my times. Nowadays, recording high quality videos has become a standard within the Mario Kart DS community. But many questions arise from the audience that watch these videos but aren't very familiar with our community. Because of this, I'm going to show what is my process of recording time trials and give you the necessary tools so you can do it yourself. First of all, there are many different consoles where you can play Mario Kart DS. I personally play on an original Nintendo DS because I really feel comfortable with it. But other players prefer to play on a Nintendo DS Lite or even a 3DS. It doesn't really matter which console do you use to play, just pick the one that is the most comfortable to you. Also, you will need a flash card. This will let you extract your save file to your PC to do the recording part later. Now, to give you an example, I'm going to show you an attempt on a fast lap in a Sky Garden. Unfortunately, the ending was a bit wide and I could have got an even better time, but this example is good enough for now. Now I just need to complete the run so the ghost can be saved on my cartridge. After that, I will insert my micro SD card into my desktop and I will copy my save file, so it's ready for the next step. The next step is recording the run. For that, we are going to use an emulator called Desmume. However, we are not going to use the standard emulator. We are going to use a modified version I made myself that allows you to record widescreen gameplay. For this, we are going to go to the GitHub link in the description. Then we are going to search for the latest release and download the zip file. After that, just extract the file and execute the emulator. Now we want to load our save file into the emulator. Click on File, Import Backup Memory and search for your save file. And click the second option here. Now that we got our save file, we can go to Time Trials. Pick the card combination and then pick the track, which in my case it was a Sky Garden. Select your ghost and then press OK to start the run. Now you will see that this isn't doing anything. Unfortunately, Mario Kart DS doesn't have a standard way to replay ghosts and also the game isn't really looking widescreen, it just looks stretched. To fix this, we are going to use a Lua script. A Lua script is a script that can be used in an emulator to modify how a game works and display extra stuff. Click on Tools, Lua Scripting, New Lua Script. Now to find the Lua Script, we are going to go to the Lua folder and then click on Add a Script. You will now notice there are more elements on the top screen and a custom menu on the bottom screen. This menu lets you customize what information you want to display on your top screen. You can show or hide head up display elements by right clicking on this menu. And you can also move these elements by dragging them on the edit mode. Now, if we want to record a ghost, we need to activate the widescreen option, the live ghost option, and live ghost display input. 
Also, if you want to record on higher quality, we need to go to Config 3D Settings. Then we need to set the GPU scaling factor to 3 or more. Note that the emulator will run really slow with this configuration, but it won't be affected in the recording. Now that we are ready, we can restart and start recording the run. Click on File, Record AVI, then choose not to record the bottom screen, and then I recommend you using a compressor because if not, the video file size will be really huge. With these settings, you will see that you are actually watching your own ghost. Now just wait for the run to finish to stop recording. This is the result of my own recording. And this is how you record high quality videos on Mario Kart DS. I hope you like this video. Note that this is my first time doing a video with commentary. As you can see from my accent, I'm not a native English speaker, so this makes it harder for me. But please tell me in the comments if you would like to see more content like this, and if I see some support, I will keep doing more. Thank you for watching.